we're at our friend's house. He has uh, these guys here. They're Powerline Reptiles. You see it on their shirts. Yeah. And they're good friends of ours. So we're making our trip, as you guys know, down to Florida, and we're stopping at places as we go. These guys let us come and invade their space and uh, even spend the night, which is cool. So these guys, we met them back in the day. They uh, were just talking with us, hanging out with us and stuff. They used to live in Westchester and, you know, we're over in Jersey. So we would meet up and we'd hang out and became really good friends. And now they're down in North Carolina and it's like, stinks that we're so far apart. But when we get together, it's like, Picking up an old hat, you know? Yeah, like no time has passed at all. Yeah. yeah. So they get to show us their stuff. So this is Phil and Sam, and they're hey guys. the power couple of uh, power line reptiles. So We're still not the power couple that you and Ryan are. It's okay. We're not a couple. <laughs> <laughs> but, so we're, right. we're excited we made it on your tour, on your little Southwest tour. That's awesome. I know. That's great. I mean, we. Part of the tour was the plan to make it to visit you guys. Like, so that's oh, like, that's it's definitely a deal. <laughs> yeah. So, but we're gonna show you guys around of like what they got going on and you guys can see them. Follow them on Instagram and uh, Facebook and you'll get to see, yeah. you know, all their social media stuff and, you know, comment that you want to get them to start their own YouTube channel because they have a lot of really cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> they would want to tell you. Sounds you know, exhausting. It is. It's <laughs> so much not, it's not work at all. Um, <laughs> so. So what do you guys got going on? Like, I know you guys uh, do a lot of stuff on Instagram and I see a lot of cool pictures, so show us some of what you got. Okay. Yeah, cool. sure. I mean, there's certainly plenty to see. Yeah. Oh, so the crazy thing is, like, as soon as they came over, we were like, look at some cool stuff. And like, 90% of it is in shed right now. Like, how it always new. Is. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I mean, one thing that we've been really excited about is uh, Azanthic. So when we bought into the Azanthic project, we had a vanilla leopard uh, pastel head yeah. Azanthic, and then we had a vanilla pastel head Azanthic. So raised them for a couple of years. We were really TSK excited I about it. I. Yeah, TSK. <laughs> and um, so we finally bred them, you know, the, Breeding ball pythons is like such a patience game, it right? Is. So we raised them from babies, finally had the eggs, waited 60 days, finally they pipped, and we saw this like white face staring at us, and like our hearts sank after all that. Like, we're like, oh my goodness, I can't believe that after all that we wound up with super fires. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. yeah. And of course, both male and female, you know, both being fire, like, yeah. goodness gracious, how, why? Yeah. But, you know, we wound up getting a pretty cool surprise. Yeah. So it was a small clutch to begin with. Mom was a first time mom. And uh, we got a really cool, nice, azanthic boy out of it. He's uh, in shed, unfortunately. Yeah, I'll show him real quick. Show you, so yeah, we, you know, the reason I say that is because we obviously didn't want like all white snakes when we were trying to make black and white things, mm. but we actually kind of got like a blessing in disguise out of it. So this guy's in shed, so he, uh, you know, not, not the best thing to look He's at right now. He's a firefly xanthic. Yeah, we got really lucky and got that firefly xanthic out of the pairing. And uh, of course we were really upset that we got all these super fires. I think out of six eggs from mom, uh, three of them were super fire and we were like, are yeah. you kidding me right now? <laughs> um, but, but we watched course, them like a hawk to see like which ones developed yellow. It hadn't even really occurred to us like when right? they first hatched that like, oh my goodness, I guess these could technically be a xanthic. But so we watched them all and two out, two of them really uh, started coloring up nice and uh, one of them did not. Yeah. So this guy, we believe is like a real blessing out of the clutch because he has some signs that show us that he's leopard. He has no yellow at all over this whole time. So just like a real snowy white look to him. Oh, so that's good. if we were yeah. going to sell him, we would have to sell him as possible Azanthic, right? Yeah. Because there are super fires that don't have any yellow. It's but since rare, Yeah, since we're keeping him and mm -hmm. we haven't had any other super fires that have just had no white like this, we yeah. are confident for our breeding that you know, we're gonna we're gonna get all wow. You know that he's 100% azanthic. And of course, in an azanthic project, having a super fire is really like the best thing you could possibly hope for, since 
fire is going to be such a great cleanup and really you know hollow everything out and make it really really white yeah. so you love to see that in a xanthic project in the beginning anyway so for us it couldn't have gotten any better yeah 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 did you ever put them under a black light have not no but he has so the reason that we um we think that he's leopard is because there's like this white on white to the scales yeah you can see you it see pops that? the head scales yeah. a lot so and then also along the back they're like just i call it like defined scales because i don't really know a better word for it but it's like there's a leucistic white and then there's this like milky white definition to where the leopard comes in and we've talked to some other breeders about that too um, that's super cool he seems yeah. to be a thing that's pretty consistent through them so he's pretty so, cool i'm really excited about him there's, yeah. there's something about white snakes we're too. doing some pretty cool stuff with tsk some of it we're trying to keep under wraps right now um i know we're going to be really excited to uh, work desert ghost into tsk uh oh, yeah. in the next couple of seasons yeah. i mean That'd i don't see that getting a whole lot better i mean true yeah. ghost would be really fun to work with yeah. um but yeah we've got lots of plans for the Azanthic project mm -hmm. so that should be really fun and that's that's great. Really cool is like you know black and white that won't turn brown you know so yeah that's yeah. what we're all about no, that's great yeah so and another thing that these guys did when we first were getting in when dan wolf was selling out of his projects we kind of went in partners almost with you guys and bought mm -hmm. a bunch of snakes from dan wolf together to get like one big package yeah. and uh you guys bought into the royo stuff like yeah. we did and um you know just producing some cool royo things out there is just yeah. great so anytime you guys are looking for like new projects or stuff it's fun to get into yeah or yeah. stuff that you can really get behind show Nairobi. She's yeah she's yeah. pretty cool the other cool thing about like you know working with stuff like arroyo is that you don't you know you're not like everybody else like you know we don't have the same we have a, you know a lot of the same mainstays that everybody else has but yeah. at the end of the day like Somebody like Arroyo, not everybody's got it. You know, we work with yeah. Trick, we work with a lot of stuff that, you know, it's a little less So common. she was taking a little bath, but uh... <laughs> and she's in blue too! Amazing. Is she? Yes, oh, she is. Yeah, that's right. They all know. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, so this was... What was even the pairing for this? Was it... Le well, oh, she's like possible been... head xanthic then, right? Yeah, she is. Yeah, so she was the leopard firefly head xanthic, um, bred to... Uh, Firefly Arroyo. This was yes. actually, that was maybe the first clutch yeah, that, that we the, saw Yeah, that was the first clutch that proved <laughs> him out as a fire. Yeah. And unfortunately, then when we brought the Azanthics. Um, yeah, we didn't get vanilla cream. We, we got, got super fire. We again. got, she was a fire yeah. as well, but yeah. Sometimes you get, you know. Out. Some people are not as upfront about their IDs as they should be, and so we try to be <laughs> as upfront as possible. Sometimes even like to a fault, I think we like go overboard with telling people what was in the pairing. But um, yeah, so we see Arroyo in this. Oh, for sure. She Arroyo was like leopard. a lava lamp, but super yeah. cool. Lots of, uh, you, we learned some nomenclature from <laughs> you with the, uh, the putting, green. putting green. So yeah, she has like, a lot of putting green. I like green to call that, yeah. yeah. She's, uh, she's got a lot of that going on. Um, when she's not in shape, she has a lot of cool iridescence and then also we call these on the arroyos like the thumbs in the pattern down yeah. here um like boom 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 it's these little like kind of bumps of alien heads where they don't go up very high they just kind of stay towards the belly so she's really cool yeah, i think she has a cool think belly too like, one of those projects but like, a nice black just, stripe you know, nobody's done enough with and yeah, yeah. like when dan wolf really got out of the whole like out of the whole thing like mm -hmm. i feel like the project really fell off like just as it was starting to like gain a lot of good momentum yeah so it's awesome that like we've got you guys working with it and there are a few other people that are dabbling it's always yeah. a good thing yeah and we yeah. we try to stay connected with people on facebook of like oh what are you doing with it what are you doing and mm -hmm. like in a royal group and that's kind of fun you know no. Yeah, of course. Right. And it's cool because it's like one of those things that not a lot of people have done things with, and you're like, yeah. well, if I produce stuff, it's probably a world's first. And yeah, yeah. You know, that's, that's always fun. a cool feeling. Yeah, it's a cool feeling. It seems like clown is like the way of the future with that. Yeah, there's some, you know, there's something about that back stripe with the <laughs> black back that's going to be really cool. Yeah, to yeah. together. Yeah, we have some, uh, you know, royal head clowns this year, so yeah. it's yeah. going to be great. We sort of went the way of the uh, the Pompeii, I feel like. I don't get every with our clown project. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we sure did. Mm -hmm. Sort of uh, by accident, but you know. Yeah, so. <laughs> have you well, before the, before the Pompeii was even shown, Sam said like you know well she showed me some pictures of other black pastel clown things and was like we need to get in on this and the funny thing about us is that like sometimes sam is like gung-ho about a project and i'm 
reticent about it. It takes a little bit of convincing and vice versa. Yeah. Totally. So when we did the clown thing, that she was all about the black eye <laughs> stuff. Yeah. It's good to have someone to, to kind of bounce ideas off of. Right, like right. Yeah. And tell you when you're crazy, tell you when something's yeah. overpriced. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Brad and I do that and then he's like, oh, but by the way, I bought one. Anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I wish that would go over. <laughs> <well>. <laughs> It's yeah, we tried to stay on the up and up. It's <laughs> it's it's so, I really liked your black pastel stuff. I know that you guys are like, ah, oh, you know, I, we have some and blah, blah, blah. But nah, I just like it. I think that you guys produce a lot of really cool black pastel stuff. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if you, I saw a black pastel like heck clown. Even oh, though yeah, there's nothing crazy. to it. Yeah, not yeah. produced just clash, cool. but. Yeah, you know. Yeah, like for me, when I first like started looking into this stuff, and I was really impressed with the black pastels immediately. I really like dark snakes. You can tell a big difference between the head clown. And the head clown makes such a difference. And the, yeah. here, I'll show like one of our adult black pastels. We like to uh, show people, you know, kind of a progression of things, and that's I know that you guys yeah, have a handful sure. of those, and um, we do. You guys are definitely producing. A lot of really cool things with black. So pastel. this is black pastel, you and then side by side with the black pastel head clown. clown. There's just so wow. much brightness. This in is comparison. so different. It yeah. is. The pattern's a little different. The yeah. Coloration is a little different. Yeah. yeah the color. Mm -hmm. I mean, this it's like chocolatey. Mm -hmm. Like in between the alien heads, looks really cool. Yeah. Funny thing about this female is that she was one of our first holdbacks. Yeah. Back when we were doing like really simple pairings, you know, when we started, we had like a black pastel male and we were breeding him to a pinstripe female oh, or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember that. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, you guys were like, hey, I got all these pinstripes. Yeah. And uh -huh. like that. Oh, there was a year when we made like nine single gene black pastels. Oh, we made like yeah. 18. Eight. Eight. <laughs> okay, yeah. It was a lot. We were really excited. We were like, oh my goodness, look at all these black pastels. I think I'm like repressing Great. that memory because it was like a nightmare when we were starting <laughs> out. Like, sell them all, my goodness. And that was before Morph Market or anything. I mean, we did a little fun of classifieds, but a lot of it was like, Craigslist in the Philadelphia area, yeah. like, but, trying to hawk these 18 black pastels. You know, and the yeah. crazy thing is, is like, you know, we can morph, we can gene stack all day, every day, and like, you can go home with some really cool stuff with like, you know, five, six, seven genes in it, but like, sometimes, you know, it doesn't take much to make me happy, and like, yeah. I can see stuff that's really simple and think like, man, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. For sure, oh, there's yeah. definitely combinations out there. Like, I can look at GHI Mojaves all day. Right, like, exactly. Every, every day. Cool. And even just a variation in them, sometimes you're like, man, it's just really yeah. cool animals. Today at the Reptile Expo that we went to, I saw just a banana Mojave. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, that thing's on fire. But like, dude, where's, awesome. where's that Beautiful. male banana we produced this year? Oh, like, yeah, talk about gene. a single yeah. gene that just looks really solid. Oh yeah. Like, he's just a gorgeous example of the morph. Mm -hmm. And even though, like, the most basic banana we produced this year, still, like, my favorite one. It still yeah. excites it me. I mean, like, the, the high oranges in this one. Mm -hmm. And just uh, to throw a little shout out to R and B Reptiles, they uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah yeah they uh, yeah. they gave us our first banana male and as a uh, as a wedding present yeah, yeah. Very sweet. we had them at our wedding and up there on on like the gift table <laughs> there's like a bunch of envelopes with gift cards and maybe a few things here and, and a there. box with the snake and then a snake box <laughs> <laughs> we made it look yeah. like a present but we had to make sure it had air like <laughs> yeah, it was super awesome yeah. we were so stoked about it yeah and it was really he's cool. made some great stuff we uh we actually have a son of his that is going to be yeah. A good breeder for us this year. Speaking of black pestle stuff that we really enjoy. Also in the water bowl. Yeah. Also in the water bowl. Always in the water bowl. A lot of people do those little deli cups for the water, but we give our adults like water bowls, bowls to be in. Yeah. Like your um, dogs. <laughs> so <laughs> we do the deli cups. <laughs> there you go, so there you go. So this is a black pastel banana that I'm so floored with. I mean, I, get, simple, I still get excited about but the simple great stuff. Great looking. Yeah. Yeah. Black pastel is a gene that I always want with banana, so it's like, yeah, we'll yeah. hold that back. Yeah, we're yeah, not super fun to play around with. No, that's a great looking banana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
And of course, the other thing we're super into, which is like, I think the Peril and Reptiles staple is Leopard. Mm, Where I mean, I know, of course, by this point, like, Leopard is everybody's big thing. But like, from the moment we first saw it, like, I especially was like, all over that. Was like, this is something we have to have a ton of in our collection. Yeah. Which is great. It's paid off really well for us, which is awesome. Yeah. Produced a lot of really cool leopard stuff this Shows year. Shows stuff for this year. Let's see. Um, My personal favorite is right here. Oh, yeah. So this little girl is one of my faves from this year. She um is, well, we are thinking she is a firefly yellow belly uh, leopard. She's got a little extra going on in there too, but it's something we're playing around with right now. So, mm -hmm. but you can see how awesome that like, looking, yeah, I know she just the gets this really cool like side. graffiti pattern, mm -hmm. which is super neat. And she's also got her cool ringer too, which is awesome. Yeah. 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 That head is, is really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and remember how we were talking about with the uh, with the super fiery xanthic, you can see that scale definition? Yeah. Even with these guys, you really get the same things, mm -hmm. which is where you get that like through line from, as you can really see that, which is yeah. pretty cool. Mm -hmm. but yeah, she is super, super neat. Um, we really love playing around with that bloodline. It's super fun. Yeah, it's um, a gorgeous and, snake, for yeah, sure. And one cool. thing that I really like is that pastel is kind of getting its day again like for a long time there was yeah, a lot of hate about pastel, <laughs> about okay. pastel like how, how it would brown out and everything but with the right jeans clean up jeans yeah. i mean desert ghost is showing that pastel is just an amazing gene with like all the yellow that it can bring to the table. You know, yeah. and I think there are pitfalls for every gene. Like, mm, you know, sometimes, sure. you know, you're gonna find something it doesn't look amazing with. That's fine. Yeah. Like, yeah. and that's part of the beauty of what we do is like, you know, sometimes you'll get some eggs in your clutch that you're like, okay, you know, that's cool, but it's not quite where I was going right. with this. And then mm -hmm. sometimes something will crawl out and blow your mind and you're like, I never thought in a million years. Yeah. But yeah. that's what would happen. That's super awesome. Yeah. So, you know, past still when applied correctly yeah and yeah I mean I really cool. like yellow bright yellow I mean, and for ours sticks, pull yeah. out seraphine if you can um so like speaking of like pastels that are really good looking and stay really good looking this girl's same bloodline she is just a firefly leopard from the same bloodline mm -hmm. pastel and I know that she's she got the fire nice. in the help but she stayed like crazy amounts of yellow like yeah. from the size and with leopard especially you'd expect it to brown out a lot more yeah nope definitely mm -hmm. they look great which is awesome yeah. and with like awesome. a little bit more cleanup in there yeah. i mean get some orange dream in there desert ghost obviously oh, absolutely. you're gonna wipe out all the brown that's that's there that's kind of our thing is like always ramping up always adding that next thing that's going to yeah, be definitely. amazing yeah. yeah when that's that's everybody in ball pythons right like every yeah. season is better because you're adding something and moving moving yeah. forward with yeah. your project and we try not to put ourselves in any like particular box like if i'm keeping back an animal like this i want to be able to do five or six things with her so then you know if this project falls through for this reason or like the smell's not going to go this season or man mm -hmm. i saw this really cool thing and now i want to try a new direction like I always have room to make that move, which I think is something we both really appreciate in this hobby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. And that's, you know, so you guys are talking a little bit about what you do and how you do certain things. And we were talking earlier off camera about um, kind of the slow progression of what you guys built here. And yeah. we think, you know, you guys are a successful business you guys you know produce enough and to sell enough to make the business pay for itself and it gives yeah. you some money to yeah. buy things new every year oh, yeah. and you guys started similar times to when we started really and um, you guys just like slowly built things but you guys are really really specific in what you're building so I don't know if you guys want to talk about like kind of how you plan out something I know there's always a back and forth because Ryan and I do the same thing like oh, yeah, oh I really want to do this project I've been wanting to do ultra mile project for like ever and we just haven't done <laughs> finally it finally you know? got our first one yeah, yeah. <laughs> so but like there's stuff like that that we always deal with but yeah. you guys you know what really you're talking about is that they're like constraints right like, yeah they're they're always going to be 20 projects out there that you're that are on your yeah. list yeah right? so you need sure. to be really strategic about what you get yeah. into and when the price point is right when when you've 
thought enough about whether it's going to be a smart gene to work with. It's true. Yeah. Well, I mean, when we started out, I mean, I certainly felt like when we met a lot of ball python people that like everyone else was made of money, <laughs> and we were it both that way. <laughs> we were both waiting tables at the yeah. time, like making no money. We had like a hundred and fifty bucks to like pour in. Yeah. I think the first year we spent like. Five hundred dollars, yeah. and that was all like that spending like and lot, saving and freaking too. out. <laughs> and we bought our, we made our first rat because we had no money to buy it. And mm -hmm. like from there, we we always knew that we weren't going to be able to dump a lot of our own money into it. You know, my husband's a teacher. I I'm the salesperson. Like we don't make a ton of money. So mm -hmm. for us, it was critical that like we're making smart choices that are going to last. And we're really watching like, okay, what's going to sell? Mm -hmm. What do we really like working with? Like we had to make really careful choices. And hold back, hold back, hold back. Like oh yeah. Someone told me keep early the on. Good stuff for yourself. Keep keep the females. Like, <laughs> yeah. When we were first starting and we were breeding like, you know, black pastel to a normal and like yeah. pinstripe and Mojave, like that kind of thing. I had a friend tell me keep all the more females and like you know, we you can't keep every all. female, but that's that's like the kind of mindset that you have to have is like females are where your production is at. So well, because, keep you know, whatever's gonna help you move forward. Yeah, because yeah. I mean at this point in time, like yeah, we can we can roll out for some high end stuff because we've saved and built to the point that we can do that. But you mm -hmm. see we have that like we've got single gene black pastel females hanging out in our collection mm -hmm. and yeah. it's because they produce. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They produce the snakes, they make beautiful babies, and they help this continue to grow. So and we keep grow. what what we need to keep things moving forward, yeah. and then we sell the rest and find great homes for them, and then the money that we get from that goes back into feeding the collection, keeping things moving forward, and then we can, we're at the point now, it's like, it kind of blows my mind, like the kind of investments that we can make. Yeah, it's awesome. When I think about how, you know, so yeah. 10 years ago we were like i it was like crazy to us to think about buying a Oh, One of our used... dreams was like a queen bee back then, I know. back when they were like, you know, $1,200 yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. I, re yeah, I remember spending, making our first like big purchase was like, uh, it was a ghost killer queen bee male yeah. um, <laughs> from ECRB. And uh, we probably thought about that for like six months. Yeah. It was like $1,200. And yeah. we were like... That's Free. a lot of money. Oh, we were yeah. freaking out. We were like, are we going to be able to make rent for the next six months? Like, yeah. how are we ever going to pay for this? Like, it was crazy. And you but paid off like you do. so many times over though. Oh, absolutely. But for us, like making the investment in ourselves and like what we wanted to do is like so worth it at the end yeah. of the day, like all the struggle. Mm -hmm. And for us, like starting out somewhere really it's small and like really appreciating like so we've got like a normal to a pinstripe, like, and for us that was like Christmas day when they hatched. Yeah. And mm -hmm. you know, so now when we're at we're, where we're at, like we still remember like, hey, this is like, they built this, like mm -hmm. we, we facilitated, yeah. but you know, these animals are the ones that really put in the work for Gives us. Gives us some good appreciation yeah, for, for what's yeah. hatching out now. That's awesome. One of the things that we're not really good at is Instagram. I know that we do it a bit <laughs> and we're like, we really try. <laughs> But uh, you guys like do really well. So can you give like everybody out there just your quick tip on like what you do? Oh man, that is totally a fail question. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, I can. Um, yeah. He's uh, an Instagram guru. Not a guru, but I I'm actually surprised at like how it's grown because I keep it really simple with just uh, posting every single day. Like that's that's what I was told to do, and it seems to really work. Mm -hmm. Stay away from like little groups where you're supposed to like comment on each other's things because the algorithm hates that um, and also no. just post something good every day um, yeah. and so if you if you skip a day which she in the beginning got really annoyed like if we were out at breakfast or something <laughs> it's like I need to post something or like or hanging out yeah, it's something that we've had to learn. Like, it's it's a cool hobby really in that way that you you kind of learn these things that are kind of uh, ancillary to the yeah. actual thing that you're doing. But um, yeah, I don't know. The garden is a really yeah. cool thing in our Instagram. I think I I kind of found out that that provides like sure. a really cool background to the the snakes, and I think people 
really seem to like that on there. Like, just a, a not everyone in, on Instagram is someone who is in the hobby. There are a say. lot of people who just appreciate. You're like, don't nice take yourself too seriously because, like, yeah. you know, your animals are beautiful, or else you wouldn't be doing this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, like. If you can take one of them out of the sun, out into the sun, and say like, "Wow, yeah. this is super cool," like it doesn't matter. It could be a normal, and you think like, "Man, this this is really good looking." Like, because if you love your animals, it's gonna come across in your photography. We talk about that sometimes. Yeah. Like, uh, there's something about each animal that we think is really cool. Like, it yeah. might be the head stamp, it might be the coloration, it might be this funky pattern down by the tail. So. I think about that when I'm taking the pictures, like what what do I want to show? <laughs> what do I want to show about this animal to really yeah. like put in, put it in the viewer's mind, like what right. I think is cool and about the thing that we made. don't be afraid to make them cute either, yeah. guys. I know yeah. like some of us feel like, well, oh, they're yeah. snakes, they're so cool and hip. But like, they're also really cute sometimes. And like yeah. some of our posts that have done the best are just like, the snake will not stay still for this photo. It has to come up to the camera and be like, what's going on? <laughs> that fuzzy, blurry shot. Of exactly, like, but people love there, that. Yeah. They love like the personality and mm -hmm. they love people that love animals. They're not necessarily in love with like, you know, a magazine level, like editorial shot. Those are cool to do, mind you. Ask me about my mirror shots sometime. <laughs> but you know, it's not everything. Yeah. That's not what everybody wants. So what you're saying is to just really be consistent with, you know, how many times you post a day, make sure that you have good quality lighting and, you know, have fun with it and make sure it's something cute. Um, is there anything else that you're like, you know, this is something that we kind of do on a regular basis. It seems to, you know, show people or yeah. remind people of who we are. Yeah, I mean, I think one thing that we try to be aware of is like a brand, which I, I hate that like icky kind of <laughs> like, I don't know, it's it's, it feels slick, it's like talking about brand. branding and social media, like it's things that I normally hate, but it's something that I've kind of had to learn, like yeah, running, a, running the business aspect of this business. So yeah. like the, the brand matters and I think one thing that we've tried to do as our brand is kind of showcasing the garden photo, like something <laughs> consistent like that, yeah. like nice daylight garden photos, and also the kinds of snakes that we breed. We're, we're into the busy patterns, we're into the bright colors, we're into some dark stuff too. I think well, like, we think about the yeah. whether this represents what we want to represent. And for us, like our garden is such a place where we're like happy and we're doing something that we love to do mm -hmm. and like really appreciating like the beauty of nature. Mm -hmm. And like our snakes are a part of that too. And even though they live indoors and they have like enclosures, like they're part of the natural world and like yeah. I can go outside and find something beautiful in my garden like any day that I go out yeah. and you know so I get that nice juxtaposition like between you know our snakes and flowers and they remind me a lot of flowers in that way that like you know they're all unique and beautiful and yeah. they're always something that's like eye-catching and cool so I love that we get to showcase all that stuff and like our I remember photos. one post actually going off of that like that's kind of mem memorable to me because it was springtime and we were just getting flowers blooming in our garden, which we we work a lot on actually. And then we also were just getting our first clutches hatching yeah. in the spring too. So there was this one snake. Sorry. Um, <laughs> just doing a little dance. It's cool. Who we think is a firefly leopard ivory. And we were so excited wow. about this and we had some flowers blooming and so I was like, Sam, what kind of posts do I make about this? And I asked her a lot for ideas <laughs> and it was something about like how he's just like a flower in the garden, like he fits in with, with the flowers so well and yeah. yeah, things like that. I think that's our, that's our vibe is just like appreciating the beauty of the things we're making whether it's awesome you know no matter how many genes it has or how complicated it is like yeah yeah definitely no that's really yeah. cool all right so tell me about why do you think this is a what did you say it was i'm thinking of firefly leopard ivory so it's i mean mm -hmm. i like to take things piece by piece so yep it's it's ivory sure it's leopard ivory sure because it has that scale definition and it the just pattern. it's a leopard ivory. definitely for sure <laughs> yeah i mean that's yeah. that's easy to say right yeah, yeah. um i kind of like want to juxtapose it with the uh 
this one. Because this one, I, I say that about like the definition because in some of them it's really easy to see the, the pattern, but with some of those jeans that wash it out a little bit more, like fire and like pastel, sometimes it's not as obvious. So this one ended up being really obvious. And uh, so we think it, we definitely know that it's pastel. And we think firefly ivory mm -hmm. because I've asked some breeders and I've taken some looks at some other things that like it just adds a lot of brightness and some things are a little more reduced in it which fire will do as well with like the side pattern this one had super pastel possibility in the pairing so I think that's what the difference is between these is that that one is super fly mm -hmm. and this one is firefly that one also had black pastel in the pairing but I don't think I see that yeah, yeah. I don't know that I see hard that to say with those super yeah. pale snakes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so They're really cool there's really a possibility a lot of this is like uncharted territory and so we just kind of have to tell people like this was in the pairing it's possible right right and go from there you know, like he was saying earlier we try to be as like upfront with people as we possibly mm -hmm. can mm -hmm. and like if we're unsure we're never gonna say oh yeah this is what this is we're gonna say you know what this is what we think this is and uh hopefully that's gonna hold up and you know if it doesn't here's the pairing like here are the possibilities yeah. so for us like an informed customer is a happy customer so that's where we we try to be with all that stuff oh, and, and we, we appreciate that with anywhere that we buy from and also that's what we try to do as well i think that people should do that more often yeah you know? we would have appreciated that with the the things that were supposed to be vanilla <laughs> yeah, yeah you know yeah. right try to try to do that for other people so is there anything else you want to show i know we're uh, getting kind of long here would uh, yeah. any other cool animals you want to totally. showcase so we've shown some things that we produce maybe we should show some of our pickups from this yeah, year we some cool yeah stuff this yeah year. Right. i think going going with that story of like how we started from the bottom for lack of a better word like it's, it's cool how it's power. <laughs> <laughs> but how we have more purchasing power now yeah it's cool um and it's not like uh ryan doesn't want me to say this but it's not like whenever you guys buy something and then post it ryan and i are like i mean we should probably buy something else you know like <laughs> you know and try to not that it's a contest it's, not. Not. Of it's, always, it's, it's always a contest. A little bit of friendly competition yeah, yeah. always so i want to shout out um reptile genetic services yeah we've gotten good to be friends good, of ours. good friends with them and they have some really beautiful things Another so <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> so we picked up um this is a black pastel ghi double head clown ghost Oh. Um, yeah, so we really wanted to get into the ghost clown thing. We also love black pastel clown. Love and black pastel ghost. Love GHI clown. And I can only imagine like when you get those four things together, mm. it's going to be something beautiful. Yeah. So it's almost like it's a female. Huh? And it's a female. Yeah. So what we like to do, I don't know, some people buy adults. We really enjoy growing them up. Yeah. So. You know, we kind of get to know the snake. They they seem to thrive really well in our collection when we get them as babies, and they're used to eating what we feed. They're used to the climate here and yeah, everything. The environment, yeah. Yeah. So we're we're excited. Um, it's a really cool long term project. And when we saw it, we were like, eh, we we need to have that if they'll part with it. So yeah, we got <laughs> thank lucky. Thank you, we Reptile like, Services. Well, yes. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. I oh, gotta show off the blackheads. Yeah. So I finally got my way. It's been like four years that I said, look, I have to have blackheads in the collection. And uh, yes. So, sorry, our dog is very <laughs> upset that he's being left out. But I had to have blackheads in the collection and uh, Phil was a non-believer, non-believer. <laughs> And uh, of course I love dark stuff, so this year finally, like, we did really well. He got his way last year. Mm -hmm. I said, look, I'm picking up a pair because I think this is going to be super awesome. Yeah. So we just picked up these two from uh, Hardwired Exotics. Thanks, Tony. Yeah. And uh, these guys are just gorgeous. She wow. is a blackhead orange dream yellow belly. 
Ooh, super pretty. I know the belly pattern is super cool. Oh yeah. And I like those, having like, yellow belly go together really well. They do. Yeah. And the orange dream just cleans everything up so much. It sharpens everything. Yeah, yeah. And the orange dream just cleans everything up so much. It sharpens everything. Yeah, yeah. That's and, uh, great. Yeah, so they got some really nice iridescence on them too. And then of course we picked up a boy to match. Yeah. And he is a uh, lesser leopard orange dream blackhead who is possible wow. yellow belly and possible head pied. Wow. So that's there too. That's <laughs> That's a big one. Yeah, it's a lot that's of stuff. That's awesome. It's really <laughs> hard to stuff. tell with some combos with leopard, like, does it have yellow belly, does it not? Right. That's yeah. one of those tough ones. Um, so, you know. It's that's just, no, that's awesome. These are beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. That's the other thing with our Definitely collection we've really tried to do <laughs> for the years is like... Write down black and more black. <laughs> so, yeah, no. We really try to keep the quality really high. So, like, I know that Hardwired works with blackheads and his blackheads are... He is like the blackhead seen. guy. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. And I said, you know, when I buy blackhead, I want to buy him from Tony. Yeah. So, we waited and... I saw that guy uh, when, like, fresh out of the egg when Tony posted him, and I was like, uh, hello, how are you? <laughs> he will be mine. Thank you so much. You haven't had your like, eye out for a blackhead male for a long time. Oh, just waiting. Just waiting. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, we always really try to get, like, the them. best we can, and that's mm -hmm. why that's why our banana line is so good. Yeah, <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. We bought yeah, it from somebody fun. else, too. <laughs> from Brian. So bought it from uh, BHB, actually. Well, thank you guys so much for showing us all your stuff. It's really awesome. I know you guys have more than what you showed. So guys, make sure you go check out their Instagram. You'll see them because of the garden scenes. So, you know, we gotta get Ryan to stop using the black glove with the snake, you know? <laughs> I'm already yelling at us for that too. Right. Black glove is awesome. <laughs> people use the black glove. Yeah, there's a lot of signature bands. Yeah. That's another good signature. Yeah. The, the so, OJ Simpson. Yeah. Yeah. Signature. <laughs> so thanks for having us out uh, yeah. as usual. And yeah, just keep on, uh, showing off what you guys do and make sure you guys check them out on Facebook. We'll link them below and Instagram as well. And then their YouTube channel, keep an eye out for it because we're talking them into it's it. It's not, not there yet. <laughs> Don't look Maybe. for it. <laughs> but they're also on Morph Market too, so you can check out what they have yeah. for sale. They have probably one less thing for sale after tonight. You know, we're gonna try to work them out and something. Thanks but, for having us, man. Yeah, 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 thanks, yeah, thanks really for having us. Yeah, yeah, so absolutely. I really appreciate it. So, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Like, share, subscribe. Oh yeah, and like and share and subscribe to the channel. Absolutely. Hit the bell. Hit the bell. Is that still a thing? Yeah, we hit the bell. Hit the bell. Yeah. If I like point up here, is that gonna like? It's like hit the bell. It's oh, down hit there. The, hit the bell. There. Hit the bell. Right. There you go. The Wherever it is. <laughs> I can. <laughs> You're gonna want to. <laughs> Perfect. So. Stop attacking me! Ah, this is a vicious dog. It's attacking. <laughs> ah, this is <so> vicious. <laughs> Come back here! Come back here! Ha 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 ha! Get him! Get him! Get him! Ah, I'm getting attacked! <laughs> <laughs> so, Alright, so I'm gonna get to the outro and then uh, then we'll do close-ups of everything that we should. Okay. So try to remember We'll everything. talk about the giveaway. Yeah, you guys are doing a giveaway? Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, are we? <laughs> we can. <laughs>